Well hello again America. Yes, I'm back from my proverbial limbo where I await the calling of stupid people causing havoc in the world today. I am, most certainly, the asshole this world deserves and I've come to have a little one-on-one -on -one with you media broadcasters and the conglomerates that hold sway over their script editing and write the prompters they read from. Now I understand that this world has a severe overpopulation of stupid people. Some hang on trying to fight their way to find the right path to walk in life. To you I say, nothing. I don't bother those kinds of people purposely. However for you wicked of heart and devoid of social ethics I've got opinions for you that would make a demon depressed and suicidal. Now today what really grinds my gears are you social middle class Americans that have lost your sense of humanity. I'm talking about the southern border issue. Now some might say that they just don't understand the full capacity of the situation these people are running from. Yet, you forget who these people are, they are newscasters. It is literally their job and life career choice to be one of the select few in our social network who knows what's going on before everybody else. If they're not aware then it's because they choose not to. What are they running from that's so bad? Well, one thing that my sources tell me is that they run from the corruption that has spread to every village and is ruthless, murderous and twisted with atrocities occurring that have no boundary or lines not to cross. They take and they aim for whatever to get whatever they want by whatever means necessary. For two, the volcanic situation down there in South America is at a dangerously critical point. Despite the laws against frack mining the corrupt companies down there are making big money deals and inviting in illegal operations that threaten to destabilize the volcanic situation down there beyond any previously imagined levels. The smaller cartels that are being butchered and pushed out of their areas are helping these people as much as they can because they know there is nothing they can do but stand their ground and defend what they spent their lives and sacrificed so much to try and build and so far it seems like everyone has just thrown up their hands and left them to be fed to the lions like they deserve it. Evil cannot defeat evil people, it only lays the path for a greater evil to take its place. Now beyond that my problem here is that you media broadcasters are taking script prompts from companies that are associated to all this. So of course your media programming is going to fit their status quo and look down upon the innocent trying to escape along with some of the smaller cartel members that didn't feel like dying for El Hef's mini empire. To add to that, we are talking about a culture of people who have lived with the Mayan prophecies all around them. So as the Mayan prophecies begin to unfold around the world, along with the criminal aspect going on down there what you have are panicked individuals. So beyond all this I have to ask, where is your humanitarianism, where are your hearts but most importantly where is, your American promise that you have promoted for the world to believe about you. The land of the free who opens their arms to those in need is being tested here and you are failing your country, your fellow neighbor and everything it stands for. You stood up against the tyranny of Trump's administration. So far Biden is doing exactly what America should be doing to live up to the promises we've made to the world. Two thumbs up Biden administration. The rest of you should really rethink your position in this matter.